Hello, all my beautiful heroes. Welcome. Hello, hello. Paladin, Fat Knuckle, Epic. Um, uh, Boggs, hello. Um, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. It is really heating up. So, like Epic said, it was like 101 here today, I think was the high. Um, Fat Knuckle, I'm glad to hear that you're almost done. That's exciting. Um, let's see. You guys voted, and uh, we're playing Outer oh, Wilds today. Yeah. Fat Knuckle, thank you for the resub! <gasps> it's Love Boy! <laughs> it's a baby! What would you like to name your Twitch baby? I gotta write it down somewhere so I won't forget. Guys, love in the chat for the resub, for the baby! We should have a baby shower, collect socks. <laughs> love boy? Love boy it is. Dunzo. Your baby is blessed by Boggs. Aw! <laughs> yeah, I guess if Boggs, since if, since that's the blessed Boggs emote, you can use it in a different way than anybody else, huh? Literally is your emote. Um, yeah, so you guys voted, you wanted Outer Wilds, so we're gonna check it out, see what it is. This is another Miro Mini, so it's just one stream and done, unless I love it with all my soul and we'll keep going. Um, I don't know a lot about this game. I know it's something to do with space. That's all I got. So, um, apologies for the late stream, uh, but we're here now. I don't know, I don't know how long we'll go. Uh, honest to God, I'm actually exhausted. Right before, right before I went out to run errands with Boggs, I went downstairs and literally just on the floor of our building was a purse. And I was like, oh, surely someone just dropped this and they'll be right back. So I just like held on to it for a minute and stood there and I was like, they, they should be like freaking out. Like they'll, they'll come back and they'll find it. Nothing happened for like five minutes. I was waiting for Boggs to get home. Nothing happened. So I looked inside of it. There was a social security card. There was a passport. There was a wallet. I didn't look inside the wallet. I don't know if there's actually any money, but there was like two loose dollars floating around. Um, and I was like, holy shit. Like you could literally steal this girl's entire identity with this one bag. And I was like, F -f fuck. <laughs> Um, so I waited for a little bit longer, nobody showed up, so I eventually just went to go give it to the office, but, like, she's gotta be losing her shit somewhere in the world, because the office closes at 6 and she's not getting it back, so, I, I mean, she will get it back eventually, just, she can't get it back while the office is closed, is my point. So, we're now Sally's hero, um, her name was... Samantha Nicole? Her middle name was Nicole, so I just, I can't imagine that somebody would lose a bag that had that much important shit in it and, like, not be back immediately. <laughs> so, maybe she's dead. Hey, Julie, welcome! Hi, how are you? What was her social real quick? I, I don't know. She was blonde in her passport. I was trying to figure out what would have a phone number on it, because there wasn't a phone in the bag. But I, driver's license don't have it. The passport doesn't have it, so. Anyway, did anyone watch Letterkenny? No, I don't know what that is. Did you kill someone? No, Julie, I literally found a purse that contained someone's entire identity. I'm talking passport, social card, like wallet. It had everything and I was like, oh God. I gave it, I gave it to. Not the authorities, but I gave it to my apartment office. So hopefully she can get it back. My AC is also severely underpowered because Europe. Um, I can barely, barely keep my bedroom below 85. Oof. In case you're wondering why I'm still up. I am so sorry. It's the worst trying to sleep in heat. Um, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna start this game though because we're already an hour behind, so. I need to do homework, but I want to watch. Also, I told my wife I couldn't hold the baby because I needed to do work. <laughs> Conundrum. You should probably uh, do your work then and then hold your child. How is your baby, by the way? She like growing up and destroying the house and pooping on things? Oh, we can like, oh. oh we started off? Okay. We're a stargazer. Oh. 
Were we taking a sleep? Can I murder him with the axe? This, it's a can of. Oh! Yes, I think I shall. Uh, move, extend, stick. Step, step. Step, 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 step. <laughs> You've been here for 10 seconds and you're already trying to murder fools. I mean, that's just the kind of day it is, I guess. I'm gonna make it- Oh, no! Oh! I was gonna make it nice and crispy like I usually do. I didn't expect it to fucking disappear. Oh yeah, crispy. Crispy. Um, I, when I eat my marshmallows, like to burn the ever-living shit out of the outer layer and then just kind of like schluff it off and throw it in the fire and eat the gooey innards. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to burn... I didn't mean to burn it to oblivion. Yeah, schluff. It's a word. Slough it off. Is that not a word? I'm pretty sure that's a word. Okay, if you want to go a technical term, we can say I like to deglove it. That's what it's called when you lose your skin. So, it's degloving. Enjoy that term. I guess I'm supposed to talk to this little chap. Slate. Uh, there's our pilot. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So, it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly, here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. <laughs> You're sure you fixed the retro rockets? Hey, Jad, welcome, how are you? Been watching, been watching shows? Did you pick one at all? <laughs> Schluff sounds like a Yiddish word for something really perverted. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't disagree. Uh, all systems go. Let's do it. Glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck the ship I'm building, uh, I'm, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made out of lightweight re-entry grade aluminum alloys, you know. But you are built out of eyeballs. Doing good. Woke up not too long ago. Thought I'd sit here and watch a tiny bit while I have breakfast. Oh, sounds good. Good morning. Uh, anyway, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. What is going on with this lighting right now? Oh, the god, the sun's out. We talked all fucking night. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh, and it's gone keeps happening to it. All right, we gotta go to the observatory. Oh, this is where you put the launch codes. Where would the observatory be? Jump is A. That's it, that's a weird jump. That's the weirdest gaming jump I've ever had in my entire life. I haven't picked anything yet. We'll do the smart thing and let wife pick out the show. You're all, you are a smart man indeed. <laughs> uh, this game is so chill and I love it. It's it's like you crouch until you let go and then you spring load. You like, it's... It's like the longer... You, look at my shadow. The longer you hold. This is a short hold. This is a long hold and a release. You like jump higher. It's super bizarre. Oh, is this a safe? No, what is this? Can I touch the dongle? Hmm. Should we talk to this strange looking individual? Micah. Is there also a jump button? What, this is the jump button. What do you mean? This reminds me of Firewatch. I've heard a couple people say that actually. Yeah, it's got like that chill, that chill vibe. That nice explorer vibe. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off on your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go into space, aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. Uh, hey, I'm still going. I want to practice with a pro before I leave. 
I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Oh, fuck yeah, model ship. Oh yeah, we recalibrated the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing. The real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser pools. Show me what you got. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, baby picture. Hold on, baby pictures. Hold on, baby pictures. Oh, look at how cute. That's a good, healthy baby with food on her chin. <laughs> That's a, that's a good, healthy, growing baby. They're all they're better when they're pudgy. That baby's cultivating mass. <laughs> She's a giant monster. I wonder if is I think there's a way for doctors to tell, right? Like how big a baby's going. Like I'm pretty sure my doctor, my mom's told me that my doctor when I was a kid, like my pe pediatrician was like, yeah, she's gonna be about five seven, and then she was fucking right. So, maybe they can tell you how a larger child will be. She ate her twin in utero, damn. <laughs> okay, up and down thrust is right and... Oh, I see. Oh, God. Nailed it. He told me to land it on the geyser. Was I not supposed to put it in the hole? No. Was I not supposed to? I thought I was supposed to. Okay, all right, hold on, maybe, oh God, wrong button. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. The good thing this has like a auto reset. God, he keeps like tripping over stuff. God, little buddy. Little buddy. Oh, I'm not getting my pilot's license anytime soon. Up. Up, out of the crack. All thrusters go. Oh, no, stop. Okay. This is really hard. Dead, I want this fucking game. It's uh it's on sale right now. Oh Hell yeah, does that count as a landing? There. I'm upright. Uh I shouldn't I shouldn't have tried to go for the gold. I shouldn't have tried to go for the Alright, we're gonna make it to the tiny one. Nope. No we are not. Oh, no. It's so bouncy! Get up there. Get, get up. I can't see because of the water. Man. Oh. Oh. I did it. I did great. <laughs> this dude is watching you like, what the hell? Guys, anytime that there's a... Uh, vehicle in a game, I'm guaranteed to not do great. <laughs> Decided I'd love to see Mira play Elite Dangerous. I would crash every spaceship. Whee! Away he goes! Over the mountain! <laughs> He's gonna be like, where the fuck's my spaceship? Oh, shit. Okay, I need to like... Coming in too hot. No! Oh my god. Oh, I just hit that dude in the head. Ah, shit. Well, hopefully he saw what I could do. Did you see it? Wow! That was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. Oh, you'll be okay flying the big one, right? Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. It'll be totally fine. Nothing terrible will happen at all. Do you want a forest fire? Because that's how you get a forest fire. No, 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 I did great. I did great, I got in that hole that one time. Speaking of this hole, you know my ass is gonna spring on in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. 
I just gotta bounce more. Maybe I'm not allowed to get in here? Get on this one. Ugh! Oh, I definitely thought there was water down here, but there's not? It's my worst nightmare. Why did I do this? <laughs> oh no, am I dead? I think I'm dead. You are dead. No. Can't swim in this game, apparently. How do I become undead? Oh my god. Just like straight up credits. All right, that was Outer Wilds. All done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Fat Knuckle, that's what Jad was saying. Screen fades to black, <laughs> Elder Scrolls, wow, you're finally awake. <laughs> Whatever that game was with the watchtower and the phone sex, the, yeah, that was Firewatch, yep. Mm -hmm. Great stream, great stream, see you next time. Thanks everybody for coming for Outer Wilds. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually skip this. I can't believe that... Oh, I'm so sad that, like, that legit got me dead. There's not even, like, a respawn? New expedition. Oh, shit. Back to roasting marshmallows. Does that mean if you get, like, really far into this game and then just end up dead, you're... You have to start all over? Is that my first time, what, dying? Yes. Do, be do better at this game. Fine. Dude, do these people still remember me? No, they don't. Oh my god, I lost all my progress. Interesting. Turns out it's a permadeath roguelike. Maybe they just really didn't want me in that hole. Like, maybe that's literally the only place you can die. I don't know. I think the ship remembers things? Oh, interesting. Pete, what you making? What you making, Porphy? Mr. Porphy? Uh, yes, Julie? You died way before you're supposed to. Oh, well, you know, uh, ruining plot lines is my specialty when it comes to games, so. I'm gonna get on top of this barrel. This won't kill me. Watch it somehow kill me. I'm king of the barrels. Oh shit. It must be done. Apparently you're supposed to die. The ship will remember this. Oh my God. Okay. All right. This is about as bad as navigating that ship. I'm gonna do it because I just wanna be king of the rocks, okay? I'm Yao, king of the rocks, and there's nothing you little girls can do about it. Good time. Good time. Who do we got here? Brutal? Brutile? Brutilly? Cut. Dude, dude, clean up your fucking house. What happened in here? You a mad scientist? Outer Wild Ventures presents postcards from orbit. The guitar music is offensively calm? I didn't realize music could be offensively calm. But yeah, I suppose you're right. It's a super chill game. All right, what happens if we go up the river? Alright, just through the bridge, that's fine. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared to go back there, but video game logic tells me there's always secrets behind the waterfall. Oh god. Did I do it? I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, there's no secrets, but I'm, I'm stuck in a little out hole thing. I'm in a little hole. Oh, thank god there's light. 
What? No treasure, nothing, but they have this cute little hole? That is such a ripoff. Also, I really, really like when you go through there that the audio gets, like, water distorted. Like, you put it underwater, actually. That's really cool. That's a nice touch. Some asshole keeps crashing drones into his house. Yeah, it wasn't me. No, I, I was just born. I I uh, just arrived here. De Dennis? Venus? It's behind your house, lady. Dead bodies? Hmm? Okay, we're supposed to go to the observatory. Um, I suppose I should actually like work to get off this fucking planet. Hefra and Galena. What was the name of the guy we were supposed to talk to? Quick question. Hey, what the fuck is this game? Uh, Outer Wilds. Outer Wilds. It's only available on the Epic Store currently. Um, it has a listing on Steam, but it's not out there yet. Um, and it is on sale on the Epic Store right now. So. Zero G cave? Oh yeah, that sounds like my jam. Okay, observatory, observatory. I'm not trying to talk to everybody right now because I feel like if I did, I would get distracted by so many mini missions, we would never get off this planet. Arcos. Arcos, you rude asshole. That's... that's vandalism, I think. Why would he be doing this? Also, is it like turning it into something else? Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strange and impossibly cold substance that is invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving the ghost matter is uniquely pain... Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around hornfells. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. You can't, you really can't see ghosts. Oh, oh God, it left black spots into my vision. Interesting. Yeah, we, we won't go through that. I just had to give it- I had to give it a try. I've already died once, so why not die some more? Um... Uh... It said the observatory was this way, and now the signs have stopped. Wait. Wait, no. Hey! Come say hi to your old flight coach before your lunch. I got a zero Z training set up if you want to refresh your gosen. Gosen. Gosen! Oh my god, he's missing an eyeball. He's missing one of his large eyeballs. I would... He's missing one-fourth of an eyeball. Does that mean you just have, like, a blind spot in the upper left? That, how did that feel? Okay, what's up, buddy? Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Uh... Right? Like, you weren't nervous for your first launch. Uh, I'm a little nervous, yeah. Are you kidding? I'm a natural. <laughs> Did you see me land that hole in one? I'm a natural. <laughs> He's southern because I say so. I don't know. He needed a voice. That's what came out. So that's ghosting now. Is that so? Funny, I seem to recall the first time you strapped on a jetpack. We had to come fish you out of the crater the crater near the South Pole. He's better off than if we lost that's true. He's only one fourth down rather than a half. <laughs> so listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero G cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last minute zero G practice, head down up there, head down there and the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. Uh, one repaired satellite coming right up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, 
cool. Get to it. And try not to concuss yourself right before you f your first launch. Okay. Down the hole I go. Maybe his eyes are like multi-lens cameras and the larger eyes are for further away things and now he's slightly short-sighted. That could be. I can see that. A pretty, a pretty elevator. Where's my tunnel like this? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my lord. I do not like the deep void. I'm not gonna- I- I- Am I gonna get lost in space? My pickaxe. I think this is the cave I fell down. Suit up. Ooh. We have liftoff. Oh yeah, for sure this is probably the cave I fell down. What's up, buddy? Tough? Is this your job tough? What you do for a living? Oh my god, drinking on the job tough? Shame on you. What? No, you're gonna get lost in the cave. I will, I will get lost in the cave. But I have a jetpack now, so like, life is great. Oh, this just leads back, okay. Uh, wowzers. Oh, they mean it when they say zero G. The name of the cave is not bumping around. Oh, I am though. Oh God. I don't think I can. Oh no, I only have a certain amount of fuel. I'm gonna get stuck in this hole, aren't I? This is the world's best cave. Burn your feet right off. <laughs> Burn your feet off with flames like that? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is 100%. This is the hole. I swear. Oh god, this is terrifying. Oh my god, it's Subnautica all over again. Flashlight. Please god, flashlight! Oh god. What is this? Oh, oh god, no. Velocity matched? What does that mean? Oh, oh god. I am a bad space cadet. This is why Miro would never be an astronaut. Damn it. Okay. Oh, ow. Slap your face with it? I mean, that's all I intend to do, I think. Oh, there's one. Let me get this boy. Repair it before I float away. Repair it! Ah. Okay, now... Out. Out. Ouch. Where else is it malfunctioning? Is this out of the hole or into the hole? I am so discombobulated right now. Ouch. Ow. Oh god. I'm getting further away from my objective. Get down the hole. I can hear it. I don't remember- oh, my flashlight already is on. Oh god. Maybe that sound is me. Oh wait, can I go up it? Okay, that misfired. Who decided I was ready to launch myself into space? Who thought that would be a good idea? Oh my god, and I'm almost out of fuel, I'm gonna die here. Just, just, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I'm back. 
Okay. All right. Oh. Smush my face into it. Making repairs with my face. Don't worry about it. Okay. Training simulation. Great. Good. How do I get out of this godforsaken hole? Let me out. Let me out of this hole. No! Oh no! Now I really am. Oh no. Time to, um, chat with the locals. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't die at all. No, this is our very first expedition. Welcome to Outer Wilds. I know nothing about this game. I hope it'll be a great time. I said do better though. We, we beat the game again, yep. Yeah? Chad, I'm the best speedrunner in the entire world, you know? I just, I'm too good. Bad end, oh God. That's true, I got a lot of endings in uh, Shibuya too. Super, super speedrunner. I got dead twice. It's great. Okie dokie. Um, since I'm probably never gonna get off this godforsaken planet because I suck at everything related to space, let's see what's up with Banjo Boy. Uh, Dennis. Oh, hello there, cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. She's in a rocking chair, okay? She has to be ancient. If you need any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Tell me about the travelers' instrument, instruments. Where's the observatory? Just saying hi before I leave. You'll get off five minutes before, I, before the, you have to end? Yes. Uh, tell me, tell me about, tell me about the instruments. Oh, sure. I made all the, of their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Chert's drums and Rybeck's banjo and Gabro's flute. Hmm, yes, yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah, Felspar's harmonica. Oh, of course, though, Felspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonicas around the campfire. Wow, all right, so Feldspar is straight up dead. Uh, anyway, if you hear music in space, that'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Great, where the fuck's my banjo lady? Why did everybody else get one and I don't get one? Oh no, Marl doesn't look happy. What's wrong, Marl? Mad at the tree. Is this a lumberjack with a revenge story? He's definitely a lumberjack. He has an ax, a bushel of wood and plaid. He can't be anything but. We don't want you to have a banjo. Oh, why not? So it's launch day, huh? How's gonna miss ya? Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform these ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program, just say the word. Current launch, yeah, no. The launch pad is flammable? Yeah, that one. Ha, you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours. Probably. Hey, Blinded, welcome. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. All right, dude, I need to know what's up about your postcards, Rutile, please. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Uh, they don't really explode that often anymore. I told my odds of survive, I've told my odds of surviving are statistically high. The odds of the launch pad surviving, though, not so much. Story time? No, there's no story with the banjo. I just don't know how to play any musical instruments, so it would be a bad time. <laughs> Can it be cool to see what else this game has to offer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I totally agree if I could ever get off this planet. 
Or you could just play it yourself. All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn the, to the ground around here more than they used to. Thanks for that confidence booster. All right, soup lady, you got grub for me, Orphy? <laughs> Heyo, hatchling. Wait, is this a dude or is this a chick? You know, I have no idea. I thought that I thought there were boobs involved, but I'm realizing it's just the apron, and now I'm confused. Uh, I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let you let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking adventure amongst the stars, actually. Other stars are too far away. Oh, amongst one star. Uh, the good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. Aw, <laughs> don't say that. Don't, in don't insult the sap wine. Reminds you of Abe's Odyssey? What is that game? I don't remember. Is that a, or is it a movie? Um, this one. Another metaphor ruined in the name of scientific accuracy. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoy your travels. Good luck. Thanks, Porphy. I'm really disappointed nobody has given me a Master Sword or a Pokemon or something for my travels. I, I didn't even get a banjo. I can't even go in the fisherman's hut. What about this hut? What about this house? Look, this kid's tinier than me, Tefra. Hello, astronaut. Well, if it isn't my favorite troublemaker. Oh, we wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. Oh, woohoo! Okay, here are the rules. Galena and me will hide with these radios, and you have to use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Uh, what's the signal scope? Panic! Equips. Okay, alright. Am I supposed to, like, hone in on them? Oh, yeah. Are you in the waterfall, you little shitbag? Oh, no, I fucking... That's the worst hiding spot ever! Are you kidding me? You have your flashlight on! Oh god, except I just fell. Shit. Still not entirely sure what's going on here, but I'm curious to see where this goes. Um, as far as I know, you like actually make it off the planet, right? And you go into space, um, and then you putz around and there's some story? That's... I know, really ambiguous. Um... My friends, uh, Chris Fraud and Luckless Lovelocks, are playing more of this game. If you, would... oh god, if you would like to check it out, um, I, I believe they're both doing it as YouTube series. I can't, guys. This is the normal struggle with me in games like this. It's just me constantly falling into holes, <laughs> and then usually clipping through the world. The large majority of the time it's me clipping through the world because I get stuck in crevices that I'm not supposed to be stuck in. And that's why I'm good at my job. Alright, alright, alright. you little shit. How do I... I gotcha. Aww, you found me? Well, my hiding spot was super good! Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Dude, you are literally lit up in a dark-ass waterfall. The best fucking hiding spot you have. Nope, okay. All right, this waterfall is my enemy. Happens to me in real life all the time. I struggle walking, suddenly I clip through the world. Oh man, that sounds really unfortunate. I would hate to have that happen in real life. Hope you can get your meshes fixed. <laughs> um, okay, the other kid, the other kid. Where, the other little shit. Somewhere over here, I think. Oh yeah, I think I found something. Are you in here? In here, you little turd? God damn it, banjo lady! You messing up my signals? How long do I get to play hide and seek for before I'm like Dunzo? Unknown. 
picking up on an unknown. In this house? Up there. How the hell? Oh, I see. Wow. These kids did some straight up parkour to get around me. Wow, clean off your roof, bro. That's how you get cavens. Haha! -ha. Found you. Uh, what? I'm happy! Thanks for playing with us! Wait, why? Okay, wait. You won? What do you mean you won? I found you. I win. I win. What the fuck kind of shit rules are those? I win. Ride this. Ride this to victory. What? Aww. Hey, AJ! <laughs> Miro losing to children, such a loser. I know, right? I still, I won. <laughs> I feel like I'm the type of person in musical chairs to like steal the chair straight out from under a child and then laugh in their face. I gotta learn how the world works, you know? It's fucking vicious. All right, fisherman man, what do you got for me? Fish and rhyme, fish and rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. You leave in the crater, guess we'll be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water plant, Giant's Deep, that's where I'd go. Why's that? One time, after the rest of the village had gone to sleep, and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro, Gabro told me about their fishing trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. I guess. Too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. Suddenly, Gabbro couldn't go any further. I'm never going to this planet for as long as I live. No, absolutely not. There can- oh no. I understand how- <laughs> Underestimated how boring this would be. Goodbye. <laughs> what the fuck? That's such a rude response. If you had the time, check out the clip from the movie Rocket Man. Uh, it's one of the few better scenes in the movie. I swear it's somewhat related to your game. Anyway, have fun. I'm off to work. I'll be seeing you. Okay, Blinded. Thank you so much for stopping in before work. I hope you have a wonderful day. I would click on that link, but my mouse is locked in the game. Um, if somebody would kindly drop in the Discord for me, I would appreciate it. Um, but Blinded, have a wonderful day at work. See you next time. Uh, okay, tell me more about this horrible planet. I was, I was just pausing dramatically. And as though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back, almost as if it was trying to protect them from something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. A tentacle of a hideous beast. Oh man, I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. I'm a fan of the John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt part. Oh my god, I'd forgotten about that. That song doesn't make any sense though. Like, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> ah! <laughs> is that true? Was the sap line involved in Gabbro's campfire story? Were you drink were you drinking, buddy? Come to think of it. Don't you have somewhere you should be exploring that isn't here? Oh fucking rude! Now go away. You go away now. He's assuming you're done scared off the fish. Aw. His name is my name too. Or maybe it makes too much sense. No, it literally makes no sense. Zero sense. How could John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith's name also be my name? My name isn't John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, it's Warby Warble Jaegerman Jensen? Schmitty Warbin Jaegerman Jensen, I think. Hey astronaut! Oh, you know the patch of ghost matter inside the fence? Gosson said it used to be bigger when they were at hatchling, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a s s s super long time to go away. Uh, I hope 
there's still ghost matter in the village when I grow up. Ghost matter is awesome. This kid looks like he just shit his pants, but he's happy about it. <laughs> he was number one. <laughs> I'm so glad that somebody got that. Uh, Paladin, that was a uh, SpongeBob reference. Look at this kid's face, though. Like, do it looks like he's secretly happy that he farted on you and got away with it or something. Uh, ghost matter is super cool. It'll burn the heck out of you. Uh, you shouldn't be throwing rocks in there. Ghost matter is dangerous. You know, ghost matter is how... Hectite lost their foot, right? Oh, yeah, that'll scare him. Oh, wow, really? That is so cool. Oops. Well, I'm a great influence. <laughs> I will literally get any Spongebob reference. Perfect. Now we know what's up when Mira looks like that. Yep, mm-hmm, yep. It's the poopin' face. Uh, I'm gonna go up on this thing. Uh, you never watched Spongebob? Never had Nickelodeon. Really interesting. I only watched Spongebob, like, up until the first movie, because after the first movie they got, like, a new team, and the game started- it started to suck. Quantum Grove Crater. Geyser Mountains and young bark crater okay we're gonna find out if there's fall damage now Woo! well at least not from that high what does this thing do amber do it kid do it do it do it oh interesting it had like a different effect that's neat. We're not playing Groundhog Day, <laughs> quit tempting fate. What about this hole though? Can I go in this hole? Oh -ho -ho -ho! It's the start of the waterfall. Yo. What is this? What is that though? I mean, it's not like we've done it. It's not like we made any progress. Right? <laughs> <laughs> F! No F! <laughs> yes, F. I did it. I found the hole. There's way too much drowning going on. Well, you know, it would, it, it would be fixed if they simply allowed me to swim. I mean... Come on, like I'm not gonna jump down the waterfall hole? Day slate, this is my first time meeting you. You're such a handsome four-eyed fella. Go to the observatory! Fine! Can I do that without doing like the zero-G thing? I just don't want to have to do the zero-G thing again. Oh, I'll go to the observatory. Um... We still have Riot Guy. What are you talking about? Oh, you're saying you missed him because you, you've been gone. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm glad that you now have him back. Oh, you can pass that up. Okay. Well, uh, get fucked, uh, old mentor. Ooh, that planet is actually, like, legit pretty. It's got a moon, even. Okay, uh... Wait, I didn't explore this, though. Good day, Moraine. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. Good weather for a launch, right? It's lucky. L look at this dude's head shape. Everybody else has had a hat. Look at this dude's head shape. Confirmed squid monster. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. It's set to the Outer Wild Ventures frequency, so I can pick up Traveler's music. Last night, I heard Rhinebeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can hear different planets, too. It depends on what time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the sky at different times. Signal scopes are cool. Hold up. Hold up. I, hold. Yeah? Play me the song of your people! Do I have debris? What else? 
What else you got for me, Sky? Do you imagine how creepy? Oh, is that my ship? Fuck yeah, that's gonna be my ship. Do you imagine how creepy it would be if somebody came up behind you with binoculars and just like stared really close at your soul? Wow, I don't know why, but my Xbox button is doing that. I apologize. That's our campfire. Wait, where'd my sleeping bag go? Dude, this moon is bumping. <laughs> I looked my woman in the windows of her soul and I said, Bitch. <laughs> I think we're getting a multi jam session right now. It's gone. <laughs> Focus, no. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Look at it! Oh! Come back. He just threw a rock at me. He knows secrets, man. I don't know how to put this away. Okay, I figured it out. Observatory... This way. I don't know if I can actually find the observatory. I keep getting uh, semi-lost. Is this it? Uh -huh. Does this dude have a power generator on his roof? Oh, is that it? That looks like it could be an observatory. Hi, sleeping. I'm Dad. Hey, Jora, welcome. Hi, how are you? Besides sleepy. Ooh, aww. Cute. Hornfells, Gossen, Feldspar, Esker, and Slate. They're little, like, Adventure Pals crew. Outer Wilds Ventures founding members. Clockwise top left, Hornfell's Gossam, Gossam Slate and Feldspar. Big thanks to these additional founding members of the Adventure Wild of Outer Wilds Ventures. Lexia kicked in. Without whom we would never have gotten off the ground. Is this oh oops, I didn't mean to hit that twice. Is this a uh, list of backers, I wonder? I think this was a fig campaign, wasn't it? Outer Wilds Venture, Tim Parse's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Har Har Harthian? Is that what we're called? Gotta be backers? They sounded like real names, so I'm pretty sure they're backers. Um, Harthian to be intentionally launched into space. Uh, they completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, Addle Rock. Addle Rock. What is this? The Space Goat. <laughs> the all wise three eyed Space Goat. Uh, this remarkably intact statue was carved by the Naomi. Nomai. Wow. Mm. The Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. All hail, space goat. Statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have covered, uh, been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea what the, where the species came from or what happened to them. Oh, dude, we're about to... We are so about to fucking find one of these dudes. Let me get a close look at this boy. Oh, I see. It's like his antlers kind of made a crown almost. Space goat sees all. Space goat coast to coast. Hey, Hal, what's up? Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day is at, at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tool's inaugural flight, too. I'm so excited, it's making me nervous. 
Just think, you'll be able to translate any no my text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez. Do not break it. Like, he knows that I've died four times. I think he knows, guys. Hey, post-apocalypse, welcome! Space goat! <laughs> space goat. Ugh, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous, and I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? Uh, after everything I've been through and I haven't even gotten off the planet, I'm gonna go with terrified. <laughs> Aw, don't, don't let me make you nervous. You've been training for this day since we were hatchlings, remember? You'll do great, I promise. So, what's the dirt? Uh, you here to see the new Nomai statue? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. huh. I, I knew you'd want to see it before you headed off. Hornsfell's just finished prepping it for the display today. Amazing, isn't it? Makes me wish we could see what a real-life Nomai look like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out! It looks like they had fur! Fur is weird. Oh, because they're like... They're like slickly amphibian creatures. Slickly, sl slickly is now a word used to describe newt-like skin textures, so you're welcome. <laughs> This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Aw, oh, jeez. I got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? What if they didn't have fur, though? You know how they didn't know the dinosaurs had feathers for a really long time? So, like, they didn't have fur. Adds new words to vocabulary. Perfect. You're welcome. Guys, look at this pretty museum. Oh, balls. Ha <laughs> ha I can kick them around. Whee! Like pea pods. What's the story on these? Watch closely. These balls move on their own. <clears throat> yep. Nobody kicked them around. They definitely move completely on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what causes this spooky motion? Definitely not me. De definitely not me. Or any kid that came in here ever. Of course they're gonna want to bat those around. Are you shitting me? We'll use it next time I want to seduce my wife. Your skin is so slickly smooth. <laughs> I bet she will appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a total turn on. The answer is the moon! As it orbits our planet, the Adelrock's gravity pulls the objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. Well, that's uncomfortable. Please don't tug me. What is this thing? What is this thing? <gasps> Ooh, I want that like as a tattoo. Like as a black light tattoo. How dope would that be? What is happening? Okay. Fortunately, the Addle Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Oh. I feel like there's an extra part that wasn't there before. <laughs> the moon! I feel like uh, there's better, more lewd ways to use slickly. <laughs> there might be, there might be a couple. Hey, Twitch Hammer, welcome! Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. A piece of Nomai writing uh, was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, Nomad's Nomai text often branches off from a central point. Uh, interest, interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Oh, that's fucking weird. Why would they do that? Oh, no. Outer Wilds is a runner-up for my game of the year. Really? Wow, I knew this game was getting some uh, some high praise, but that's that's next level. I'm happy to hear that. Aside from the dwellings and structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated this decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. 
Some ancient know my art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system. Which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system? Or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xenoarchaeological expeditions. Dude. Dude, how cool would it be to be a Xenoarchaeologist? That's literally alien archaeologist. Oh my god. I always thought cryptozoology would be really cool, but people just laugh at you. So maybe if you were an alien archaeologist, people would just laugh at you too. <laughs> For those who don't know, cryptozoology is like people who study Bigfoot, like scientifically. Like Bigfoot, Loch Ness monsters, like all the folklores. Can you just carry a black light around with you so you could show people? Um, yes. <laughs> Um, I actually have a black light tattoo. I already have a black light tattoo. Um, and what Fat Knuckle says is true. They, it, it's pretty uncommon. Not a lot of places do them. Uh, the ink is said to be like more risky. Um, uh, but I have a black light tattoo. And for the first year that I had it, I 100% went around. I had a black light flashlight keychain, and I was just like, hey, hey, look at, look, look at this though. <laughs> um, Boggs can attest to this when I met him, like early on after I'd met him. We went to a bar and there was an arcade machine that had a black line on it. And I got really excited and I ran over and I was like, yeah, it still shows. Cause I hadn't seen it. I hadn't seen it for a couple years at that point. Like it's something that's on me all the time, but I hadn't seen it in a really long time. So I got really excited. What's your secret tattoo? Uh, it's the most white girl thing possible. <laughs> it's uh, it's an infinity symbol but um, my mom got a matching one and it's to symbolize my grandmother after she passed. We got it, I think on like my 18th birthday, Some, sometime like as soon as we were able to get it. Tramp stamp, close enough, no, no, no. <laughs> That's not that basic, it could be worse, it could be worse. But it was, it was basically like just a nice, simple, small symbol. We didn't want to go too elaborate because the ink was risky. Um, but we got something simple and uh, it was just to symbolize like her soul, you know, being infinite in our hearts or something like that. You know, that sappy stuff. Butterfly on your ankles, fairy on your spine. Perfect. Um, We could tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers, quite unusually only three eyes. The Nomai body was mostly, most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, showed us that the Harthians could have descended from no, no, Nomayan ancestors. I almost had a stroke. You do have quite a few tattoos, Fat Knuckle. That is true. Witch Hammer, thank you for the biddies! Thank you so much, I appreciate those. Guys, love in the chat for the biddies. Cheer, shared, your cheer shared three rewards to others in chat. Is Twitch doing something right now? Some sort of something? What is, what is Twitch up to? Also, let me just, did that make the thing go up, guys? <laughs> Hopefully that made the, the thing go up. Click on the bits symbol. Does it say? I. Just says you cannot cheer in your own channel. <laughs> I got cock blocked by Twitch. Thank you for the biddies, Twitch Hammer. I appreciate those. Um, it's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. It's the Trevor Project Pride thing. Pride, mega cheer, at least 200 bits to earn, two exclusive emotes in June. Oh, that's really cool. Donate 10 cents to the Trevor Project. Nice. Okay. Yay! Use your little emotes. Well, thank you. Thank you for the biddies and thank you for uh, sharing the emotes. I'm gonna pop out for now. You guys have a good one. Okay, Jad. I hope that uh, you have a wonderful day. I hope that you got good sleep and we loved having you. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks for dropping in. I hope your wife picks a good anime. <laughs>
The Nomai technology brought back from space by our ancestors has been a great boon to Outer Wilds ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now boasts a wrap retrieval capability, warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This was dramatically reduced, this dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost in the depths of space. Oh my lord. Glad we have that technology. Julie, thank you for the pennies. <laughs> Gay shit for everyone. <laughs> wow, you literally did just share things for 10 different people. I wonder if I have them. I feel like I've heard, I've seen that happen before and I had no idea. No, I'd probably get an alert about it. I probably can't have it. I'm not even like in the chat. It's my chat. Thank you so much for cheering, Biddy, uh, Biddies, Julie. Um, love in the chat for more Biddies, guys. Where, where can I collect my gays? Oh my god. <laughs> I want some gayness. <laughs> Hit me with that gay shit, bruh. Post apocalypse. Thank you for the Biddies. <laughs> Thank you for cheering. There, guys, have more gay shit. Perfect. Oh, look at the rainbow Kirby. Oh my goodness. Twitch hammer, <laughs> thank you for more biddies. Oh my goodness, 13 people. I, we, I guess we do have that many people. <laughs> Thanks for the flags. Thank you guys so, so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the biddies and for, for spreading the pride. Um, This crystal was taken from a Know My Run on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion and was most likely used to transverse steep surfaces. Try it out. What? Oh God. Oh my God. I hate this. I hate this a lot. I'm Spider-Man. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. oh, it doesn't work very far, does it? Oh, is that one of the emails? Oh, interesting. Spider Woman. I think I'm. I think I'm a. I think I'm a dude boy. All of my. All of my childhood friends have been boys. Oh my god. I hate it. Oh my god, you guys. Did you guys know that real life angler fishes are like the size of great white sharks? Like they are big. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a picture. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I hate it. Oh. Oh. Hate it. That's just false? Are we sure? I've never yes, seen it. Palestine. I've never seen it in comparison to like something real size. Yes, AJ, thank you for the donation. Yes, thank you so much for that. Uh, you said banana a lot of times. Is that a recommendation or a stroke? I, I found my gay. Let's see. Let's see if I have any. I think it would show. Would it just show up under unlocked maybe? I have a Rasta hat. I don't think I have them. Uh, I was supposed to read it. Banana, 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 This is for you, AJ. Thank you so much for the donation. And Twitch Hammer, thank you so much for more biddies. Thank you so much for gifting uh, more gay emotes. <laughs> that sounds awful to say. <laughs> more prideful emotes to three people in chat. Thank you so much. Why is my computer freaking out? Banana. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Do, 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 do. Okay. Back to the game. <laughs> Thank you, Julie, for adding that quote. Beautiful. Okay, but wait. 
So how big are real angler fishes then? I think they're like big. Somebody find me facts. Somebody find me facts. Hey, ghosty. Welcome. Hi, how are you? Hello, hello. Thank you for the pride balloons. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to live in dark places with a minimal atmosphere. Fuck that. <laughs> you did it, AJ. Your legacy. Their length can vary from two centimeters to 18 centimeters. Uh, with a few types getting as large as 100 centimeters, 3.3 feet. But this variation is li largely due to sexual dimorphism, dimorphism, and the females are much larger than the males. Witch Hammer, thank you for more biddies. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. 10 more people get the emotes. How many, how many different emotes are there? Wow, Twitch Hammer, you have a lot of them. I think that might answer my question. Sfart? Sfart? Sf oh god, your your name is gonna be a hard one for me. Sfart Knast? Welcome! Hi, how are you? Did you get an emote? <laughs> Gay shit is cool, but what about Santa? Oh man, the Christmas emotes. I forgot those existed. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much for all of the biddies, Twitch Hammer. I really appreciate them. And apparently so does everybody else with all their little emotes. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Twitch Hammer, thank you for more biddies! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Three more people should now have some. The boring one. Asexual? Oh, is that the... I don't know enough about this stuff. I'll use I'll use these e these emotes. We're gonna get the horror stream in no time. Yeah, you guys are at thirty two point four percent. Our options are like layers of fear two. I'm thinking or man of Madon. I think I think those are gonna be like my top two. Unfortunately, man of Madon doesn't come out until like August though. So Twitch Hammer, thank you for more of these guys. Spam all the emotes you're getting in chat, please. I want to see them. Yeah, that's the no sex thing, so zero action for me. Oh, rip. <laughs> you got the tree. Is, it a, is that a gay Give fish? A that's beautiful. More! <laughs> Guys, I think, I think Twitch Hammer's lost it. Thank you so much for all the biddies. Fat Knuckle, thank you for the biddies. Joining in on the Give bit train. Ten, 23 people. Take my gay too. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We're definitely, uh, definitely going to get a horror stream sooner rather than later. Where do they show up? Um, there's like a section under emotes that says unlocked. Um, right before you get to the main Guess chunk of like normal dead. ones. AJ! Guess Thank you for dead. the donation! He says, Guess so Miro, dead. you want to know Fuck how me. anglerfish mate? I know this actually, but I will read it. The males bite onto the side of the female. Then their lips get fused to the female and they get absorbed into her. All that remains are the testes, which the uh, female then uses to fertilize her eggs later. Fun fact for you guys who didn't know. Ooh, I got the rainbow wings. Ooh, look at <laughs> Twitch Hammer, thank you for more biddies. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Guys, I hope you got some some emotes. If you did, please thank Twitch Hammer. Thank you so much. Who is this Pride Lion? It doesn't seem random. I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, guys, for all the biddies. AJ, thank you for the donations. I super appreciate the support. And now we have tons of emotes. Man, I hope I get the little happy Kirby one. He's so crazy happy. I really like the rainbow wings too, though. I've seen I have seen those floating around in chats before. Multiple males can fuse into one female, so she could just have dozens of balls hanging off of her. Oh god. I don't know how I feel about that one. Um, if a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into the heavier... I don't even remember what this is about. Oh wait, are we supposed... wait, maybe we're supposed to start from here. 
Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen into helium. As it grows older, the stars run out of hydrogen and start to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layer to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse the helium into carbon. Pajammer, you said you were done! <laughs> thank you for more biddies! Jora, thank you for biddies! Oh, alright! <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at how many of these emotes are floating around now. Look at them all! Oh my goodness. Hmm. Have the balloons too. Thanks for the wings. Oh, is there like a like a left and a right one? Oh, that makes total sense. Oh, and the two little oh, give and take. I see, I see. There it is. Did you get the did you get the one you wanted? <laughs> Thank you so much for all the biddies, guys. Yeah, there's a, like a right wing and a, a left wing. So you can make like the double. I gotta start hanging out in some more chats. I want, I want all the emotes. Um, if a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into the heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Tret's no, uh, observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Oof, duh. Look at all your emotes. I'll probably finish Rhyme at some point in the near future. Okay. Uh, are you liking it? I'm curious. I think, I think I have that game on some platform. My games are spread out all over the place. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. Hornfells, you actually kind of did me a spoop. Holy shit, that was not... Oh god. The Hourglass Twins. Wait, are those the ones that were bumping and... Bumping and jiving? How do I... Get in, get in on the zoom. Get in on the zoom. The Ember Twin and the Ash Twin? Dude, that's so metal. Oh, I want to go. Look at our beautiful sun. Giants Deep. Okay, we're going to avoid that with all of our heart. Dark Bramble. Brittle Hollow. Timber Hearth, you're here. Wait, what's that floating around the sun? Going fast, whatever it is. So wait, these are our only planets? What's this? What's this? Star? Star? Oh, look, you can see them all moving. Oh, that's really dope. I still have my Christmas emotes from three years ago. Wait, because you never use them? Wait a minute. Did the, did the special emotes after you get them, do, if, they, if you don't use them, do they run out? Or if you use them too many times, do they run out? Are they limited? Now, now I'm panicking. Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of the light in the images were stars, but they're not. They're galaxies. They have a limited number of uses. The Christmas ones, anyway. Really? I didn't know that. Aww. Look at them. Uh, they come to this place and they know they are not pure heroes. Use the gay emotes, but then they are mere trespassers. Only I, Twitch Hammer. Know the true power of the gates. <laughs> what? What is this? I was cut in half, destroyed, but through its bitties, the gaze called to me. It <laughs> oh, bless Boggs. You guys know what emote to use for that one. Uh, it brought me here, and I was reborn. Uh, we cannot blame these creatures. They are being led by a false prophet. That's me. I'm the false prophet. An imposter who knows not the secret of the gaze. Behold, the heroes come to scavenge and desecrate this sacred realm. Oh, and it cut off. 
thought they were time limited. I didn't know they were limited at all. No need to read. Oh, well, too late for that. You were merely adopted by the gay. I was born in it, molded by it. That's the best Bane boys I've got. <laughs> is, that what, is that what Boggs looks like when he sneezes? <laughs> Sugar pee! AJ! Thank you for the biddies! Guys, lots of love in the chat. Lots of love. Thank you so much, AJ. Oh no. Wait a minute. AJ does this shit with a goal. Yep, there it is. There's the horror stream, guys. <laughs> oh, what what is that emote? You did the thing, AJ. Thank you so much for the for the biddies for getting us to uh to our goal. Um, I got this emote out of that deal. <laughs> I want you to do Man of Madon, but it's probably too far away. Um, oh, look, you got a new badge too, AJ. Nice. Hey, Salty, welcome. Did you, did you scoop up an emote on that? Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so with that, we will be doing a horror stream. Um, I don't know when. And I'll put, up, I'll put up a poll and I'll let you guys choose what game you wanna see. Um, I will do that sometime in the near future. Um, for the Man of Madon, we could almost do like another, another horror stream goal thing. I like it when you did the did the thing the other time and Miro cried. <laughs> that was fun. That was, that was stressful. That was very that game hoofda. Um, I do want to do the new layers of fear. I really do. So maybe we'll do that one. Um, I really enjoyed the first game, and I think it's about the second one's on par with the first one. So, making Miro do the cry with bits is fun. <laughs> do the cry. Do one cry, please. <laughs> you really have to zoom in to see what it is. Yeah, it's like it's like a little face. The eyes aren't super clear, I think is the issue with that emote. I meant the thing with the Wacom or whatever it is. Please <laughs> make one cry. Oh, when you completed... When you completed the uh, Operation Shia goal, yes. Yes. That was, AJ, you're a madman. I hope I'm not the only one severely disappointed by Layers of Fear 2. Oh no, is it not actually good? I haven't actually, I just looked at like the Metacritic score and it was about the same as the first one, so. <laughs> Cry! <laughs> That emote makes everything look so happy, even when it's not happy at all. Yeah, that thing. <laughs> Thank you for the videos, AJ. Uh, I will probably be crying if it's a horror stream, so you just wait. The tears will come. You enjoyed watching Layers of Fear, too. Okay. I'm super critical of horror games, admittedly. It's my favorite genre. Twitch Hammer, um, if you have recommendations, then for games that won't absolutely fuck me up. <laughs> uh, games that aren't too long. Like, um, let's see, I could handle, uh, I was really good at Until Dawn. Uh, if there's quick action events, I can do that kind of stuff. If it's like Outlast, no, absolutely cannot. I can't like, I can't like run away from something. If it's a shooter, I definitely cannot because I, I, <laughs> If you, if anybody here saw the last horror stream, when anything remotely spoopy happened, I threw the controller, covered my face. <laughs> so, all of them are indie, perfect. Indie ones are the best ones, and they're also, like, good ones are hard to find. Um, if you aren't part of my Discord already, uh, I would love it if you could join in and drop some suggestions. Um, also, anybody else who's not in the Discord, feel free to join. It's uh, a little sparse, but we have fun. Pokemon game. <laughs> Alien Isolation is a no from me. Which horror games are my absolute favorite by a long shot? Really? There's a lot of running away from stuff in Layers of Fear 2. Really? Oh no. Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe not. Oh god, chase scenes. Give me anxiety. <sighs> I managed to do the one in Il Until Dawn, though. There's a couple of chase scenes in that one, and I managed those, but... Okay, back to the... 
back to this game thank you guys so much for all the support thank you thank you we'll do a horror stream uh let's try to make it off this goddamn planet <laughs> um and this image covers just a tiny patch of the whole sky which means the universe contains at least a thousand times more galaxies than we previously imagined i think i need to sit down oh go meet this hornfels boy Outlast 2 was garbage. Yeah, that one was really loose on story. Um, I actually really love watching people play horror streams. That's how I found Odd was his Amnesia Dark Descent playthrough. Um, because I can't play them myself, I love watching people play them. So, like you, Fat Knuckle, I, I, it's a good genre to watch. I found the cry! Oh no! <laughs> AJ found the cry. You did that, AJ. That's your fault. Me too! That's how I found Odd. Twinsies! Ex like, amnesia or just his horror streams? Time erases everything we do in life? Oh my god, Julie, what? Amnesia! Oh, nice! Perfect. Uh, there you are! I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with the Know My Translator tool. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. You, we're better equipped than we, than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be proud of your work. Tell me, what are your plans once you're in space? I'm going to learn more about the Nomai. I'm going to meet up with the other travelers. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. That's how that one has to be said. Uh, I think I'll start with something small. I don't know. I'm gonna wing it. Mm. Probably that one. I found him from Bioshock and Amnesia. I watched both before I subscribed. I don't know. I don't know that I've ever watched his Bioshock playthroughs. That actually might be fun. Uh, I found Odd with Soma. Oh, that's another good one. That one was fun, too. Uh, and then I asked Odd if I could help mod my way mod way back in life is strange one and he interviewed me via twitter dm i can only imagine how that went <laughs> mirror your streams when i am post night shift and sleep deprived are good for my wallet please stream at more con <laughs> not good for my wallet please stream at more convenient times aj when would be convenient for you <laughs> actually when would be more convenient for danny poor danny uh, you had an interview before becoming a mod? He just did it for me. Yeah, he just did it for me, too. He was like, oh, you're not a mod? And I've never used my mod powers once, so he did great picking that one. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the Nomai. Mm -hmm. You're about to go to work? Okie dokie to a chammer. Um, have a lovely day at work if you are headed out. Thank you, thank you so much for all the support and the biddies. Um, I look forward to recommendations that you might have. And uh, look out on Twitter for the announcement of the horror stream. Um, he didn't really know me. Um, oh. I mean, with with an audience of odd size, though, you you need good mods. It's like essential. <laughs> so I can understand an interview for for people he doesn't know. Oh yes, Julie, that's right. You're streaming on Friday. What time? Oh, I guys, if you aren't following Julie, she is a streamer that has uh, she's going to college, so her streams are uh, were on pause and now they're back. And I'm very excited. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye, bye Twitch Hammer. Thank you so much for the biddies. I hope you have a wonderful, a, pr a prideful day. Yeah, let me, let me know the time. Hey, Squid, welcome. Hi, how are you? How's it going? Really wanted to watch the video series of Burial at Sea, but the audio is all screwed up. Oh, is it? I don't think I've ever seen that one. 2 p.m. Okay. All right. I'm going to make a note to myself because I will forget that. It's in your Discord, too, though. I know. Um. Julie. 
Oh, it like desyncs. Oh, that's no good. Julie's a famous artist who had people tattoo her artwork on their actual bodies because she's that famous. It's true. It, that's not a lie. <laughs> now that Twitch Hammer is gone, who will supply us with fresh gates? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm I'm as straight as a pole, so unfortunately, it's not me. Uh, I might have guessed as much. No sense talking. No sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We've barely scratched the surface on know my writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about what happened to them. Uh, we have no idea if they originated here or traveled here or why they disappeared. The tool of you that tool of yours should prove in indispensable in solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. I'm ready to die in space. It's probably more of the latter. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't it kind of unlucky to say something like that before a launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could have could be persuaded to make them. Best of luck out there. Let me know if you need help with anything. That's my launch code. It's a bunch of dots and dots. Okay. All right. Our launch codes are in Morse code. You'll probably make it to like six or seven. Ooh, a long boy. That's that's exciting. Um, no fucking thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> what just happened? Did he just steal all my museum knowledge? Why, goat man? Why would you do this to me? He even has the... The fucking, the rectangle eyes of a goat. He's totally space goatman. He just stole all my knowledge. All right, Mira, you can fucking die now. What? Oh my God. What did I do? In the game. Oh, oh. Okay, let's go jump off a waterfall again. That came across very hostile. So mean. Julie, I didn't know you could be that mean. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, that one hurt. Yeah, there's some fall damage. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Mir- Oh, never mind. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wait, this isn't like the other times. What did that- What did that goat do to me? <gasps> what did- it... Wait, no, I'm still- Excuse me, I need to go have a conversation with a goat. I'm gonna have to play this game, I guess. I, so far from my little bit of time playing it, I am thoroughly enjoying it and I would recommend, especially since it's on a sale right now. Um, I would recommend. It's been fun and I haven't even gotten off this planet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we gotta go talk to this magic goat because I still have the launch codes. So obviously I'm not like dead like before. I wonder how you're supposed to know that this time you won't die. Not everyone has a Julie. That's true. I mean, I'm guessing the launch codes let you know. I don't know. Do you, do you guys think his eyes will still be open when we get back here? Guys, it's 2.30 and a dude was meant to come here at 11 a.m. to fix our garage roof and he's still not here. And I have been awake for 22 hours now, and I want him to come so uh, he can do this shit and I can sleep. Oh my god. Oh no. Um, AJ, here's what you do. Grab a sleeping bag, sleep on your front stoop. He'll wake you up when he gets there. <laughs> Alright, Hal, what's up? Hey, hey, my favorite astronaut. Oh, no, wait. This is the same conversation. Hmm. Hold on, my head my headphones are dying. We've we've chatted too many too many a time. 
don't know why they're dying. They shouldn't be dying. I charged them earlier. Oh, plus the hair though. That feels good. And by typing, I made him arrive. Ask and you shall receive, AJ. <laughs> Go deal with your repairman. Uh, AJ, if you don't come back before I'm done, thank you so much for the donations and the biddies. Um, I hope that you're able to get the repairs you need done. <sighs> Sleeping bag sounds like a great way to collect all the vicious critters. Oh, in Australia? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I take it back. Oh, God. Australia sounds awful. Never mind. <laughs> Hey, Mighty McFlap, welcome. Hi, how are you? You still owe me one cry. AJ, I'm telling you, okay? If we do a horror game, it's gonna happen. Um. Okay. Uh, of course. Yes, yeah. We already talked. Oh, God. All right, never mind. Why is he down here now? Hey. Uh oh, what's happening? Oh, that was weird. Hey, look at this. The statue opened its eyes. Bet you wish you'd seen that happen, huh? Ah, <sighs> me too. I, I'm not even a little closer to understanding what's going on with this statue. Was there something you needed? Uh, no, I'm good. Take care. So the statue turned back around, but opened his goaty eyes. And, and it bestowed upon me the powers of death. <laughs> I'm good, here for a giggle and a good time. Well, you came to the, hopefully the right place. I mean, I might giggle. I don't know if I can make you giggle. Depends on your sense of humor, really. You like dead baby jokes. We'll get along just fine. That's an awful pitch. That was the worst elevator pitch I've ever done in my life. Oh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's just take this lift like a normal person. I was gonna jump out like a madman, but I'm sophisticated, so... Oh god, I'm stuck! <laughs> Get out. I don't know where I've ended up. Mero giggles if... Mero giggles if you think you're gonna have a good time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds right. That's a little messed up, but I'm sure I'll fit in. Perfect. I don't think I've ever actually told a dead baby joke on stream, but that is my kind of humor. Just like the dark shit. Um, like for instance, we tried to accident in the face earlier. Fart Kanast! Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at pronouncing your name. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Miro's Heroes. I hope you enjoy your time here. Wow, that elevator pitch made me follow. Yes, maybe it was good after all. Maybe that was the best elevator pitch ever. Where's my spaceship? Shit, I'm supposed to get off this rock. Right, is it over here? Help, where's my spaceship? I think it's, I think it's all the, we saw it with our thingy. Doing great. This emo gives me a license to show my existential side. Yes. You've definitely told, have I told a dead baby joke on stream? Oh no. If this was a real little girl, she'd be black and blue from how I'm mishandling her. Oh, that is a terrible quote to show people. <laughs> Mighty McFlap, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mirror's Heroes. I hope you enjoy your time here. I hope that I don't offend people. <laughs> Let's be real, I do offend people. And Ghosty, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mirror's Heroes. I hope you enjoy your time here. Hello, hello. Welcome to all the new heroes. How do I get to my... How do I get to my spaceship? Oh, wait. Look at that. Is that our moon? Oh, I bet it's jamming. Somebody's singing a song on the moon. Where's my goddamn spaceship? Whistle man. It's all the way over there. How am I gonna get there? You get there from the observatory? What? No, put that away. Where's the other tool? The zoomy tool. Where? Where's my zoomy tool? Wait, this is the zooming tool, isn't it? Take a drink whenever Miro says something awful, you would be dead. That is how you get alcohol poisoning. Okay, how do I get over there? 
Got like a scaffolding sort of situation. Oh yeah, that's right, back at the campfire where we woke up, there's a, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Die. Yeah. Best fast travel there is, guys. Best fast travel there is. Literally, if a game has deaths with no repercussions, I will use it just because I'm too lazy to walk back to the spawn point. <laughs> You'd even be dead of uh, if you only drink water. That's true. Yeah, you can die from that. I don't remember how much water it takes for you to die, but you can. Okay. All right. Here's where we want to be. This one. Yeah. Put that in there. Yeah. Here's my spaceship. Let's see how poorly I fly this baby. Uh, I, I guess I just like get abducted. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. Hey, we have one of the crystal thingies. You ship log. Ooh. The interloper. Oh, I really want to go to the Ember Twins. They just sound so cool. What the fuck is rumor mode? The village to the lunar ruins? The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Adel Rock. Interesting. Y yes, my new McFlap. I yes, I did just start playing. Uh, I've been stuck on this planet the entire time because I dick around too much. Uh, so I may or may not have taken two hours to do absolutely nothing. It's fine. Do I have to suit up? Or do I just buckle up? Do I have my password written on a monitor? I feel like that's a must. Alley marks for some reason. Oxygen refill. Spot a tree, walk towards it. Enjoy. Okay. We have played... We, we have space for 20L? That's amazing. 20L. 20, like 20 leagues? Ooh, ooh. Little scout. See beyond horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. Okay, all right. Let's strap in, boys. <laughs> Leaders, you imperial turd. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, yes, American. Okay, right trigger to lift off. I'm gonna crash the shit out of this thing. Oh, oh, they really do live in a crater. Where's this waterfall go, though? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh. Can I go in this hole? How do I land? How do I land? Uh, I can unbuckle. I don't think that's what we want to do. No, land. Please land. Oh, God. I just want to touch the roots. That looks not great, but I'm going to touch it. <laughs> Cockpit damaged. Oh no. And we did it. <laughs> How do I get out? Doki. Yeah. Um I think that was that was a pretty good landing. Uh yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is this thing though that looks like a plant anus? What is going on, Tektite? Ouchie. Ripped a hole in my suit. Oh my god, he's missing a leg! Are you a pirate? <laughs> Hello, hatchling. Thought you were ta were taking the tin can of yours to space today. What are you still doing here? I didn't crash land it on the other side of the planet. Nope. Me? I saw something crash over the horizon and didn't like what I was seeing in my pictures with my little scout. My little scout was sending back, so I thought I'd come over here and take myself a look. What well, crashed? I don't know what it is exactly. It looks like some kind of plant seed, but it's not anything I've ever seen in Tinderhearth before. And trust me, I was quite the explorer back in the day. Don't you... do you... do you... do you... do you... do you... Do you? That's not, that's not an English apostrophe thing that happens. <laughs> Do you think it's extraterrestrial? 
It kind of looks like something that might have come off a dark bramble. Whatever it is, it's putting down roots in a hurry. I don't like the look of this thing, Hatchling, and that's a fact. Think I'll set Marl and Hal loose on it. Best get rid of the mess sooner rather than later. And no one can remove unwanted plant matter faster than a tree keeper can. Uh, I'll have to get a look at what's inside the speed the seed first though. Don't wanna get Don't wanna set anybody to hacking up a potentially dangerous plant without getting a better idea of what's lurking inside there. Tough can help me haul out old scout launcher over here. Obviously, the opening is too small for someone to fit inside. And anyway, I'm not going to blindly stick my hands into anything that looks as unpleasant as that seed does. It's a smart man. That's a good way to lose an arm or two. What about a foot? You want to tell me about that foot? Did you put your foot in it? Can I put my foot in it? Instructions unclear. Dick cotton ceiling fan. Okay, um... I'm not going to touch it again because it hurts. But I will try to repair my ship. I uh, broke like the front part. There, it's all better. It's fixed. See, it's fine. My black kitty is not smart because she decides to sit on my black computer chair. Oh no, when I get up and then she's not seen and I go to sit back down on said computer chair. Oh no. Okay, fat knuckles, sleep well. I hope you got your homework done. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a wonderful night. My cat's key is too sensitive. I thought you were aggressively sleeping, so it's fine. Wait, where is Miro from? Um, my name, Mir de Morte, uh, is uh, Latin for to wonder about death. Uh, Miror is to wonder. So the Miro part is basically to wonder, um, which is kind of a play on my real name too. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's basically where it comes from. It just means to wonder about death. I thought it was funny. I thought it was cool. Oh, the dark bramble. The dark bramble seed's in here now. There's more to explore here. Well, I don't think I have like the necessary tools. Okay. Good snow pea. That's her name, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You were all types of messed up. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. Oh, there's like ice crystals here. I can't let go of me. I'm stuck on something. Wait, no. Get, take off little buddy. Maybe I damaged too many things. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I should, what else can I fix? I'm so sorry, little ship. I beat the shit out of you. I need a fucking jetpack in real life here. What else is broken? It's just, it's just scuffed. Oh, can't find anything else I can fix. I don't think I can fix things inside, can I? Hmm. Starboard hole. Starboard thruster. Maybe that's why I keep tilting down is because my thruster is borked. Oh. Yeah. 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 This is a lot harder to take off when you aren't on a flat surface. This is going to be a majority of the game now, I think. Just me stuck in holes with this goddamn ship. It's like stuck on something. It's this fucking plant. This plant has me in its goddamn grips. Look out. Ooh. Oh God. I spit something out. Uh, bring that, bring, bring that back. <laughs> I think your ship is borked. Oh, how do I unbork it? Huh, I can toggle my headlights. Fucking hell.
How do I fix broken thrusters? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, this one is uh, hella broken. There we go. Now maybe it'll feel better. Wow, that was 100% zero. 100% zero. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Yeah, that sounds better. There we go. Interesting. Okay, so if you break the ship shit out of your ship, then you don't get to go anywhere. Good to know. What do you think? What do you think's in that little patch of forest? None good. Is this a motherfucking Stonehenge? Hold up. Hold up. You're taking off. Sit down. Oh god, not that fast. Not that fast. Oh fuck. Oh god. You're a little bit twisty. Uh, yeah. Hey, that was better. We're still never gonna get off this planet. <laughs> Gizmo! Is, is that... That's your... Yeah, that's the black cat. And then you have the white fluffy one, right? Speaking of, where's my cat? He should be like hungry and begging for food right now. How do I get, how do I get in this? Oh, it's glyphs. I'm so excited for aliens. Except I am an alien. How do I get, how do I get in this boy? Ooh. <laughs> there we go. What can I touch? Nothing? No. Is it just a light bulb? What is this, like, broken down old temple? Snow pea! Oh, snow pea. That makes sense. Oh. Oh. Guys, I need a treasure chest, but this is the lock mechanism on it. This looks so cool. I don't- I want to open it. It seems like a puzzle I could do. I don't think it's gonna let me, though. Snow pea is what we call sugar peas! Sugar peas. Well, then when you break the news to Danny <laughs> about the sugar peas, you can tell her. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, God. You guys think I can make that? <laughs> Wait. Oh, nope. Uh, I should have done more boost and less fall. So. Teeny doesn't need to know. Oh, God. Uh. Morte is not responsible for any marital issues. Disclaimer. Okay, alright, I'm gonna try harder this time. And by harder, I mean I'm actually gonna hit the jetpack button instead of just uh, the not jetpack button. <laughs> no, I'm still losing altitude! Oh. Ghost matter. Oh. oh shit, it's all these fucking crystals. Oh, I'm out of here. It's getting spoopy. You guys still aren't married? For some reason, I totally thought that you... Yeah, I guess you you did never have a... Huh. Huh. Do you have any plans for the wedding yet, AJ? Or is it just still up in the air? How come I can... Chewed up that far, but I can't make it across this goddamn thing? Whatever. I'm back. Oh god. Oh shit. Really? Fucking hell. Well. You think doctors have time? Good point. That is a good point. Alright. Alright, now I'm going back to my... Seishi and I are totally planning his wedding, and it's not going to be a shit show at all. <laughs> Perfect. Is everybody going to Australia for it then? Actually, probably be easier to fly Danny and AJ here. I put the suit away because uh, maybe that will refuel it. Could be totally wrong though. Um, okay. 
Oh, 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 oh. Let's uh, get out into space. Oh, moon. The moon. Guys, guys, we're gonna go to the moon. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, we're missing the moon. We're missing, moon, moon, moon. Coming back to the moon. No, no, we're gonna, God, I'm so bad at this. I now orbit the moon. Match the velocity, do that thing. Okay, all right, and then, and then landing mode. Oh, this makes it so much easier. Oh God, too easy, too easy. Oh shit. All right, okay. Settle. Oh god. Okay. And that's how Miro's ship rolled off the surface of the moon. Oh! You know. Oh! Oh! Apparently, you can't breathe on the moon without your spacesuit. Fun fact. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, look at how many things we did. We talked to that dude for like a year. Is it like uploading it to its <gasps> goat cloud? Oh my god, all the way back here? Okay. Well. That's gonna be where I call it quits then. Um, because I'm tired and it's bedtime. Um, I really, really enjoy this game though. Um, maybe we play more tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep on it and then surprise you guys on Twitter tomorrow uh, based uh, about what we're doing. <laughs> if we don't do this, um, I will take the next most voted for on the um, poll from today. That's illegal? What? Why is that illegal? It just sunk in. What What just sunk in? What What is happening to you, Julie? What did you just epiphasize? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's a word. Did you go into space with no Maybe. I might have forgotten that I wasn't wearing it. I might have done that, yes. Perhaps. It's fine. It's fine. Um, okay, so yes, we might do more of this tomorrow. We might do, let, let me let me see what it was on the tweet just to confirm it in front of everyone. We might do Burly Men at Sea was the runner up. Um, I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Uh, if you're not following me on Twitter, for those of you who are new to the stream, um, Twitter is probably the best place to get updates. Um, you can also join the Discord if you're not in the Discord. Um, get you the link. Um, we don't do a ton in there, but, um, it does have announcements and stuff like that. Um, there's art on my Instagram. There's a new website for absolutely no reason. <laughs> I made one of the new Streamlabs websites just for fun. So, uh, Burly Minute C will be a fun Miro Mini. Yeah, I think it's like, a, it's like a shorter game. So, um, yeah, I think that will be a lot of fun. I kind of wanted to see you suffocate on. Uh, you guys didn't tell me because you, oh, I saw it happening, but couldn't type fast enough. Only Miro stream, mi mir only mini stream one, no more. Oh, Epic put down his foot. Not allowed to stream this game anymore, guys. Sorry. I know nothing about it, but I must see it. Must see what? More importantly, Discord has trash panda pics. That's true. There is a raccoon only trash panda Discord channel because we love our garbage around here. So, um, okay. I think, I think that's it for today. Um, let me do the thank yous and the credits. We'll call it a night. This is an hour past when I normally stream. So your girl is pooped. It should be rolling. 
perhaps. There they go. So, Mighty McFlap, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Mirrors Heroes. I hope you enjoy your time here. Uh, Ghosty, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Mirrors Heroes as well. I hope you enjoy your time here. And same to you, Spartcast. Oh, that's still, that's, uh, you gotta, you gotta let me know. Is there a nickname? <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Mirrors Heroes. I hope you enjoy your time here. Uh, AJ, thank you so much for the, the biddies. Um, thank you, thank you so much for the biddies. We reached our horror game goal, so there will be a horror game in the near future. Um, look out for, you know, Twitter polls on what game we might play, so. You're welcome. It was interesting. I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, Jora, thank you for the biddies. Twitch Hammer, thank you for all of the biddies. Thank you for spreading some pride long love amongst my chat. I hope you're off having a wonderful uh, day. AJ, thank you so much for the donations and for making me say banana repeatedly. <laughs> Fat Knuckle, thank you for the biddies. Um, Twitch Hammer, thank you for more biddies. Post Apocalypse, thank you for the biddies. Julie Aria, thank you for the biddies. Thank you, thank you. Um, Fat Knuckle, thank you for the resub. Happy nine months. Happy Twitch baby. Uh, happy birthday to Love Boy. Um, yes. I think that is it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support today. I really appreciate it. I'm so happy we hit our horror stream goal. Uh, I can't wait to, you know, spoot my pants off and cry specifically for AJ. Any tears shed during that game, AJ, they are specifically for you. So... You're welcome. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. My next stream is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, as usual. Um, I hope to see you guys there. Uh, still don't know what we'll be doing, but I will let you know. And yeah, we'll see what I'm feeling tomorrow. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this Miro's Mini, though, if we do not continue it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.